This is the Iowa Weather Report for Wednesday, May 29th, 2013. Now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at 1 p.m. this afternoon. We have a trough digging into the high plains and the Rockies and with some energy along it and ahead of it as well. This will set the stage for, you guessed it, showers and thunderstorms as if we haven't had enough of them lately. Some of them could be severe, we'll take a look at that in just a few seconds. And there will be some breaks in the middle with some highs around the 70s to low 80s. Now here's the severe weather risk for today and tonight. A slight risk encompasses the entire state of Iowa, also in adjacent states, but the moderate risk is over western Kansas, Oklahoma, into northwestern Texas. When we take a look at the tornado outlook for today and tonight, the moderate risk area is also the area where there's a higher risk of tornadoes, about 10%. And the hatched area indicates maybe bigger tornadoes with a 5% chance around here. The damaging wind outlook is the standard 15% across the state. The more enhanced area across Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, and into the Red River Valley of Texas. And then when we take a look at the large hail outlook, well, the hatched area of larger than 2 inch hail is from Nebraska through Kansas, Oklahoma to Texas and the 30 and 45 percent chance areas are also off to our west as well. Then we back to the GFS we go to Thursday and guess what we have another chance of showers and thunderstorms with a low pressure center over northern South Dakota and you guessed it, some of the storms could be severe again, and here's the outlook for Thursday. A slight risk of severe weather encompasses the entire state, along with eastern North Dakota, South Dakota, the southwestern part of Wisconsin and Minnesota, Illinois, Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and eastern Nebraska. When we look at the probabilities, though, the better chances of severe weather look to be to our south across Missouri, Kansas, into northern and northeastern Oklahoma and northwestern Arkansas, which the hat with the hatched area encompassing Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Joplin, and Fort Smith, Arkansas. Back to the GFS and back to Friday, and you guessed it, the low pressure center has not moved. What does that mean? It means there's probably a very good chance of some showers and thunderstorms and a probable good chance that some of them will be severe. Saturday the low moves in our direction. Looks to be we'll have some backwash showers, clouds around, highs a little bit lower here on Saturday in the 70s, maybe a few upper 60s. But then when we move to Sunday, we have no rain in the forecast. Clearing skies, temperatures in the 70s, it'll be quite pleasant but the ground's going to be quite soggy so Sunday is pretty much not a very good day either, but by Monday we start to have the return flow. The winds turn back to the south and southeast, temperatures warm up back to around 80, maybe a bit warmer, and you guessed it, another storm is approaching, which comes here on Tuesday into the western counties of the state. And again, with the low pressure center over the Kansas Colorado border, you guessed it, there's probably going to be a risk of severe weather, is there? It's too early to determine at this time. And a week from today, next Wednesday, we have an upper level feature moving across Manitoba and energy rounding the base of that trough will bring us maybe a shower or storm and maybe some severe weather, but the low pressure center will be well to our north, so the chances of seeing widespread severe weather, if this was to happen, looks to be rather low at this time, but this could change. Stay tuned. A couple days after that, on June the 9th, now we have a 588 ridge over the southern Rockies and west Texas and Oklahoma. The main storm track well to our north across the U.S.-Canadian border. And that means it's going to be, well, somewhat dry. A little bit of shower activity off to our south and east. Maybe a tropical system over Florida. The GFS has been hinting at that for quite some time. We'll see if that continues to pan out. And at the end of the forecast on June the 13th, well, a bit of a ridge extending north into Canada. Otherwise, the storm track is along you know, about the U.S.-Canadian border or the northern tier of the country. And if this was to pan out, we would see a little bit of rain activity moving out of the state. Another storm trying to set up off to our west. And some rain and showers and thunderstorms the afternoon summertime variety over the southeast. 
When we take a look at the satellite image from last evening, we had a cluster, well, several clusters of showers and thunderstorms, one over lower Michigan, one over Iowa, Missouri, and Kansas, another over Texas Panhandle, South Texas, and in South Dakota, and in Nebraska. The watch warning map from last evening, we had several flash flood and aerial flood warnings across Illinois, Iowa, into northwestern Missouri, northeastern Kansas, along with some flood watches. Wind advisories across Kansas, a severe thunderstorm watch in Nebraska, and red flag warnings in New Mexico. But the QPF chart precipitation over the next five days shows no red flag warnings around here. In fact, heavy rain possible upwards of two inches northwest, upwards of six inches over south central Iowa.